my battery is low, so I'm gonna record this video quickly. You know, today I was walking home on my commute from, like, I was with my, my mom and her friend, and they were going to Amsterdam. And it was really fun, and, like, you know, we were talking a bit, everything was really friendly, and, like, a really good social experience. And then, as soon as um, the time came for them to go on the train, came along, I just was then I was gonna go like I was kinda cute but she was vaping so like she kinda just destroyed her attractiveness. <laughs> she was kind of attractive. She was kinda cute. I was looking at her, she was looking at me. Then she started vaping and I was like nah. Anyways, that was what my mind was preoccupied with. But then as soon as they all went on the train, the entire train station was empty. And what I think to myself is like this is life as a man. It's immensely, immensely lonely. And like, I walked out some blondes, also vaping and smoking a bit. Fucking unattractive as shit. Just said bye. I didn't even say bye anything. I just like looked away. Looked at them, looked at me, looked away instantaneously. It wasn't even like any semblance of attraction there. Because of the a, a thing. Actions are so unattractive. Anyways, I was walking home and I was just thinking to myself, life as a man is immensely, immensely lonely. Immensely. And it only gets worse if you play video games and distract yourself with this mindless bullshit. And I'm always, I'm always on video games because video games to me is something that is simultaneously nostalgic and regretful. It is nostalgic looking back on the years of, yeah, I play video games with my friends. Yippee! Ha ha! We're playing video games! Woo but it's also painful to realize the fact that that time spent playing video games is time wasted and is time that I'll never ever get back. Because that time is because time is an inexhaustible resource. It's the greatest asset of all time. No pun intended. It's king. Time is king in every metric you could possibly imagine. Time is king. And then like here I am, like a dickhead, just wasting time like like it's nothing. And I get immensely immensely mad at, mad at myself because that's what I'm doing. So far and sing. I need to charge my fucking thing. Monitor my monitor here because I want to video edit. And sing. I gotta go collect the monitor right now. I'm gonna go. It's right now. It's ten. So it's early in the morning for most people on a Sunday, at least. Fucking Apple Watch charger, bro. So retarded. Like me. Okay, that's the right one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ugh, charge my Apple Watch, bro. You know, I love gingers. Gingers are like my preferred type. Also like Asian girls with short hair. But like, I like a lot of multitude of different girls, all right? I like a blondes somewhat, but the top two is like Asian girls with short hair. I mean, sometimes long hair, if, depending on my mood, but it's usually short hair and ginger girls. Ginger girls just hit differently. They would look absolutely gorgeous all around, in my opinion. They're either like a 10 out of 10 or literally one out of 10. Like there's no in between. Weird, but yeah, I, I love gingers, and this girl was ginger, and she was vaping and shit. And I was thinking to myself after she left, I'm like, I don't have a girlfriend, bro, and I'm gonna miss out on those years of being young and having a girlfriend and going through that heartbreak. Because what I want in life is much greater than some stupid fucking relationship. It's kind of like a bit aggressive and morbid to say, but I'm not gonna go through that teenage heartbreak. My teenage years are, are coming to a close. I'm just working. Just grinding. If I'm not grinding on YouTube, I'm grinding on the training ship. I'm not grinding on the training ship, I'm grinding on the business. I'm not grinding on YouTube, I'm on the training ship. It's, 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 it's always something to do in my life. I'm incredibly, incredibly busy. I'm like Lex Fridman about this bitch, man. No time to do sh anything. My day, like, as soon as I wake up, it's just work. Literally, Tuesday, th uh, Thursday, I'm going boxing again. Literally, Tuesday, I wake up 8 a.m. 9 a.m. it starts. So, 8 a.m., 8.30, I have to leave. So I'm, I'm, I'm done everything in a half an hour. So from 9 to 5, I'm busy doing training shit. 5 to 6 p.m. roughly, I come home. 
six thirty is when my boxing gym starts. So I probably have like a 10, 20 minute uh, leave, uh, free leeway period, which I use to change clothes that I immediately have to leave to go boxing. And after I go boxing, I finish at nine pm. That's when I get home. And I'm, after that, I'm exhausted to the point where I can't really do really do anything. So what I'm really doing is just like reading a bit, resting a bit, maybe video editing a bit on my phone, and going to sleep straight away. Literally, my entire day is fucking busy, just packed. And if, if I have nothing else to do, I have a routine. On my weekend, I have a routine I need to follow for my entrepreneurship journey. Recording videos, making videos, because it's going to be part of my business as well. I'm being, I'm fucking dead consistent on this Jimmy Chan, uh, Jimmy Chan account, Jimmy Chan channel. I'm, I'm fucking, bro, man. I'm immensely consistent on this channel. I have so many videos I need to upload as well. It's crazy. And I just think to myself, like, this path I chose, this lifestyle I chose, this way of life, these choices that I've made have put me on an incredibly lonely journey. And it doesn't have to be this way, I know, but it's incredibly, incredibly lonely. I was walking home through the park that I always walk through. Like It was, it was the same community as my, my workplace, but it was through the train station this time. The guy actually let me through to like, you know, see off my mum and her friend, basically her sister, because they've been friends for so long, to go on holiday. I didn't even get to say goodbye properly as well. And I think to myself, like, I only want to be fine for the next four days. They're going for four days, but I think to myself, let me use these four days to really think about my life choices so far. Even though I've thought a lot, I have not thought enough. Because if I had thought enough, I would have radically changed my life by now. I need income. That's what I need. Income above everything else. If I had enough income, like 5-10k a month, I, I wouldn't give a fuck bro, I'd be going on holiday here, we're going on holiday here, go there, cute, kind of cute girl, riz, I, I don't give a fuck bro, I wouldn't give a fuck if I was making that level of money, because I would have like a, 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 a better inner locus of control. If I was to get a girlfriend at the moment, my life is in shambles, it's chaotic. I would not be able to, that relationship would not last, it probably would be fun for a good week or two, then it would crumble. That's it. Life's lonely, man. It's incredibly, incredibly lonely. It's quite unbearable to think how lonely it gets sometimes. And it's quite unbearable to know that you have the full choice to completely and utterly change that, but then you sacrifice future progress for the sake of now. Which is what I see a lot of kids my age doing. They, they, they sacrifice future progress. What they end up doing is like, they end up going to college and uni and having fun, yippee, doing drugs, yippee, yippee. And they end up like using all those prime years in which they could have started working and working out and working on the business and working on this, working on that, being actually consistent. Instead of using those years to be consistent and to have that sense of accountability within their lives, take responsibility in their lives, they kind of just end up fucking about and playing around because that's socially acceptable at the time. They kind of just go along with the flow. And I'm look, I, in my own friend groups, and in my previous friend group, I'm looking at the widow as the widow, because I'm the guy who radically changed. I'm the guy who chose uh, a difficult path. I'm a guy who chose to pursue business and pursue uh, wealth creation instead, freedom. I'm the guy that wanted a better life. I want to give back to my parents and It's fucking bling in my ear right now.
you know, I see all these people arguing on Twitter, and I get happy. Because I realise that there's some gremlin out there living a shittier life than me, and that's completely okay with it. Oh, yeah, Twitter, fuck this shit. Waste my time. I'm seeing the Garcia versus a Tank, and it's kind of annoying because <clears throat> Garcia didn't have that fire in him, but Tank is so good, so it's understandable. You know, any path I've chosen in life, entrepreneurship, YouTube, at least for now, and boxing, all of them in the beginning are incredibly fucking lonely. I'm in a weird dilemma at the moment. I don't want to be lonely. But like I said before, I want to trade short-term gratification, instant gratification for long-term success. But how long do must I suffer? How long must I just work like this? When do I get that big break? You know, you know, in school you would you would expect yourself to get that big break and. You know, wow, it was half term, summer, woo, uh, and then you get a paid vacation, or some shit like that. If you don't get that as an entrepreneur, it's work 24-7. And if, with the appropriate hard work ethic, you can make it out, bro. You can live a life that's so tremendously extravagant and beautiful and opulent, and that's so fulfilling and worthwhile with entrepreneurship. But it's going to be fucking hard to get there, because there's a bunch of people out trying to make it get there as well. Competing with millions. Of course, it's not good to look at people you're competing with, but it is good to sometimes think about it. I look at the competition to steal, but mostly focus on your own shit. I want to make money, bro. If I made money, if I was in myself, they're going to have them for four days. If I had money, I'd just go with them. If I could make money, I'd just go by myself and then I'd just see a bunch of cute guys around and just talk to every single one of them. I don't care. Because I know I have the power to create a sustainable relationship. And whilst money doesn't solve all my issues, it sure as hell solves a bunch of them. I see my fucking armpits, bro. I'm gonna shave. <sighs> my fucking legs tired. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace.